I'm here with OnePlus' most premium flagship phone to date, the OnePlus 6, and of course the Honor 10, which was launched just a day before. Two great value handsets that offer really premium specs. So which one might be best for you? Well, first of all, stick them side by side like this, and you'll probably struggle to tell the difference between the two. Smartphones are all starting to look exactly the same thanks to this notch effect, and the fact that that screen stretches basically the entire front panel of the handset. However, the OnePlus 6 is the slightly bigger handset. It's a 6.28 inch smartphone compared with a 5.84 inch Honor 10. So at 5.84 inches, the Honor 10 is actually the more compact of the two. Not that there's that much in it, the OnePlus 6, you still get that nice front filling effect from the screen. Very little bezels to bulk it up. And you've still got that stretched aspect ratio as well, 19 by 9, to give a nice comfortable grip in the hand. The only other identifying factor is that you've got the fingerprint sensor mounted beneath the display here on the Honor smartphone, whereas in the case of the OnePlus, it is housed around the back instead. And the fact that it's around the back means that it does just naturally fall under your finger when you pick up the OnePlus, whereas with the Honor you do kind of have to stretch a little bit down to the bottom, but there's not really that much of a chore. And with just a quick tap, you are straight into your desktops as well. The OnePlus is incredibly nippy, basically the instant you tap that sensor you're straight in your desktops there's an ever so slight delay with the honor but there's not really that much to concern yourself with flip these smartphones over and you'll see that they both sport a nice glossy design however you can actually pick up the oneplus in more of a matte finish as well if you so desire but it's still made of glass in that case those shiny surfaces do pick up scuffs uh, a little bit easier thankfully the midnight black version of the oneplus does hide them rather well and it's not too bad on the honor either it does a pretty good job of masking the greasy marks as you can see they both feature nice rounded edges which just aids with that comfortable grip along with that stretched aspect ratio and the skinny bezels and we really really like the honor 10's neat uh, sort of gradient effect as well as you can see it's got the nice striation effect uh, when you see it head on the blue coloration and then as you tilt it it uh, turns to a sort of a purple hue which is quite a neat little effect Unfortunately, neither handset boasts an IP water resistance rating, but that said, OnePlus has said that it has worked very hard to try and prevent any water from infiltrating the various ports, and so it uh, should hopefully survive a little drop into a puddle or a, uh, a heavy downpour, which we're well accustomed to here in the UK, so hopefully it'll be a bit more splash resistant than the Honor. We'll of course buy that both phones rock Type-C USB for charging, they got the speaker grill mounted on the bottom, and both of them have a 3.5mm headphone jack as well, so you can plug in a wired pair of phones if so desired. The rest of the phone, pretty nondescript power button, volume rockers and all the rest, but the OnePlus does have a bonus feature in the alert slider now housed over here on the right edge. You can just flick that up to the top in the middle or in the bottom to flick between the various do not disturb vibration modes and all the rest. Uh, quite handy if you're about to jump into a meeting real quick. So what about that display tech? Well of course as mentioned the OnePlus does have the slightly bigger display, 6.28 inch and it's an AMOLED display with a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. You also get a 19 by 9 aspect ratio on the Honor 10, it's a 5.84 inch Full HD plus LCD display. Uh, in both cases it's Full HD plus as well. You get uh, pretty much the same pixel resolution, 2280 by 1080 here on the OnePlus, 2240 by 1080 here on the Honor 10. So in terms of actual pixels print and everything, they're almost identical. We've had these two side by side watching Netflix and things like that on it and you will not really notice a difference no matter what you're up to. The only real difference is the fact that the OnePlus is slightly punchier with its colors thanks to that AMOLED finish. But that said, on the Honor it's still some fairly poppy colors and uh, if you dive into the display section as well, go to color mode and temperature, you'll see that the vivid mode is activated by default and that just helps to really bring those colors to life. Of course, both of these phones do sport ye olde notch, which I know some people have taken against, but the good news is that if you dive into the display section, you can remove the notch in both of these cases. So just a quick tap and all of a sudden, the notch is completely hidden from view thanks to a nice black lineation effect. You do, of course, have exactly the same effect there on the Honor, so that option is there if you want it. And you've got plenty of other options as well. You've got the likes of the eye comfort mode, or as OnePlus dubs it, the night mode, which just uh, filters blue light, produces some nice warm colour, so it's easier on the eye when you're looking at the phone at two in the morning, you can't sleep, you're browsing your Instagram or whatever. You've also got a couple of bonus bits on the OnePlus, which is the reading mode, and that's pretty much pointless. Now in both of these cases you're running a nice bit of Android Oreo action, the latest version 8.1 and you do have an overlay as well to change up the general look and feel so you've got Oxygen OS 5 here on the OnePlus and you've got a Motion UI 8 here on the Honor. And what they do is they basically just add 
a whole bunch of extra functionality, mostly to do with gesture support and things like that. So for instance, one-handed use can be a little bit tricky on these big phones, so on the OnePlus you can just swipe down from anywhere on the display and it'll pull down the notifications tab. Likewise, you've got a one-handed mode here on the Honor as well, just a quick swipe across that navigation bar and immediately everything is shrunken down. We actually prefer this mode because then you can use all your apps in that easy style as well. In addition to the fingerprint security, you also have a form of face unlock on both of these handsets as well. And in both cases, it's really, really impressively quick. So all you need to do, if you can't use that fingerprint sensor because you're wearing gloves, your fingers are a bit sticky for whatever reason, all you need to do is just, uh, if you once you've scanned your mug in, hit the power button, hold your face close by, and as you can see, you're straight into the handset. And it's just as quick on the OnePlus as it is on the Honor. We are really, really impressed. In fact, there you go, straight into it, past the lock screen. You don't even see the lock screen, that's how quick it is. And the, in both cases, it works really well in low light as well, which is very impressive. So even at night time, you can get your face unlock on the go. And of course, you get plenty of other stuff. It'll take far too long to actually go into all the individual details. But for instance, on the likes of the Honor, you can uh, get rid of that navigation bar entirely at the bottom and just use fingerprint sense gestures instead. The OnePlus also offers a form of gesture support as well. Swipe it up from the bottom of the screen to replace the navigation uh, efforts. And if you go to the advanced, you've also got a gaming mode in there as well, which is quite nifty for blocking not notifications that are coming in. So all kinds of extra stuff thrust on top of Android Oreo. Now onto the important topic of performance. Now both of these phones, despite being pretty good value for money, they also offer top-end performance. We're talking really good stuff. Uh, so in the case of the OnePlus, you've got the Snapdragon 845. We've only seen a couple of the phones actually Actually rocking that chipset so far in 2018 and it is so so silky smooth you see you're just whipping through uh, your menus absolutely no delay whatsoever it's so so smooth it's fantastic and it's backed by six or eight gigs of RAM uh, depending on the configuration that you get so again that'll help with the likes of the multitasking if you want a machine that can play games on the go and won't show any kinds of slowdown for a couple of years, then either of these handsets will definitely do the job. You've got the Kirin 970 processor, so Huawei's chipset again launched at the end of last year, so quite close to the Snapdragon 845. In this case, it's only backed by four gigs of RAM, but again, it's a silky smooth experience. No hanging around, your apps load up the instant you touch them and gaming is not a problem at all. For any benchmark enthusiasts out there, of course, the OnePlus is the clear winner in our, uh, our various uh, tests you see 270,000 almost in uh, good old Antutu whereas you barely scraped 200,000 on the honor but 200,000 is still a fantastic score and it shows that either of these handsets definitely will do the job. As for the storage the OnePlus you've got a choice of either 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage depending on the configuration that you choose. Um, in this case this is the 128 gigabytes model and most of that storage is available despite the fact that I've already installed quite a few apps on there so uh, plenty of storage space. In the case of the Honor there is no 64 gigabyte option it comes as 128 gigabytes as standard uh, but neither of these phones unfortunately offer any kind of memory expansion they're not micro SD compatible. The good news is though you can actually pick up the OnePlus in a special edition 256 gigabyte model if you absolutely demand tons and tons of storage. When it comes to the battery tech, there's not much in it at all. You've got 3,300 milliamp cell here on the OnePlus, and on the Honor 10, it's a 3,400 milliamp, so ever so slightly better. In both cases, you get form of power saver mode, so for instance, power saver mode and ultra power saver mode here on the Honor. You get the battery saver mode here on the OnePlus, and you've got battery optimization tips as well in both cases. Just helps you to uh, call any apps that are sucking up your juice in the background, for instance. And they both also support a form of fast charge as well. You get super charge here on the Honor 10, and you get dash charge here on the OnePlus. So if you forget to charge up, you've got just 10 minutes before you leave for work. You can just slap them in to charge up, and they will get plenty of juice in there for your commute. And despite the fact they've both got glass backs, there is no form of wireless charging support here. No doubt an effort to cut costs. Now when it comes to the camera tech, you might have noticed earlier that they are both dual lens devices. So you've got a vertical arrangement here on the OnePlus, whereas it's a horizontal array on the Honor 10. In the case of the OnePlus, you get a 16 megapixel primary lens backed by a 20 megapixel secondary lens. It's f1.7 aperture, that primary lens. And you get a nice bit of optical image stabilization built in there as well for the first time in a while for good old one plus now in the case of the honor it's a uh, slightly better in terms of the general megapixel specs it's a 24 megapixel monochrome lens backed by a 16 megapixel rgb uh, but it's f 1.8 aperture so it's not quite as strong in low light at least in our test it, there doesn't seem to be a massive amount in it to be honest but uh, the one plus is slightly stronger uh, but you don't get any optical image stabilization built in there either it's just digital image stabilization 
As for the front facing camera tech, you get a 16 megapixel uh, camera here on the OnePlus and a 24 megapixel selfie camera on the Honor, so it'll definitely do the job for your Instagrams and the rest. And if we dive on into the camera apps, the arrangement is fairly similar in both cases. You're straight into your auto photo mode in both of these cases, uh, ready to shoot some snaps. You can quickly sw swap to portrait mode in either case, which uh, uses both of those lenses to uh, really focus on your subject and clear out the background, just give it a nice blurred background, bokka style effect, and that just really helps your subject to stand out. You of course get a bunch of bonus modes as well thrown on top of that, so in the case of the Honor, just swipe across and you see you've got loads of stuff buried in there, though most of them are pretty much superfluous. You've got the main stuff here on the OnePlus, which is the time lapse and the slow motion. You once again have that on the Honor, and you do have full pro mode uh, photo controls as well, so you can, for instance, toggle, toggle the likes of white balance, uh, shutter speed, all that kind of stuff if you want a very specific result. That said, of course, the OnePlus can also shoot uh, raw photo images, so uh, great news if you want to edit on the go. And if we dive into the video mode as well, you can shoot 1080p at either 30 or 60 frames per second on either of these devices. Just dive into the resolution, there we go. Uh, so 30 or 60 frames per second, or you can also up your game to 4K uh, Ultra HD, although you can only shoot that at 30 frames per second here on the Honor, whereas you've got the choice of 60 frames per second here on the OnePlus. And that in a nutshell is the OnePlus 6 versus the Honor 10. So two great value smartphones have just launched. The OnePlus 6 is actually slightly more expensive. We haven't got the exact UK price at the time that I'm shooting this video, but we're expected it to start at 499, whereas the Honor 10 starts at just 399 here in the UK. So even better value for money. So which one would you be tempted by? Are you gonna pay that little bit extra for the OnePlus? Or are you happy with the 400 pound Honor, which still packs some really premium specs and features, including that really swift face or not? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ding that notifications bell if you want more on the OnePlus, the Honor, and all of the latest and greatest smartphones. Thanks for watching, guys.